Out West, the 20th ranked Boise State Broncos 1-0, BYU also 1-0. I'm Dave Lamont with Ray Bentley upstairs. Allison Williams on her world tour of Utah patrolling the field for us here in Provo. It is an absolutely gorgeous evening, 71 degrees. And BYU will get the football first. That means starting for the first time, the freshman Ray, Tanner Mangum. But everybody in college football knows who this guy is. Right. He, uh, an incredible splash onto the stage last week. He's pretty green, but he's brimming with confidence, Dave. And after last week's heroics, he should have. So BYU, it is a white out tonight. So everybody encouraged to wear white. And the players are following suit in white uniforms with just a little bit of blue. And Boise, so many uniform combinations impossible to guess what they're going to go with but they've gone with a uh, sort of a black little blue little orange number pretty, uh, pretty schnazzy i like it nice helmets and i really appreciate the numbers on the side yes. well, let's go play some football all the way from the b and byu will wise soon he feels that his arm is as strong as it has ever been boise with a lot of pressure again on the run, throw, it's a dangerous throw, but the receiver's open. 30-yard line, it'll be a BYU touchdown. Mitchell Jurgens. How about that? Well, he's done it again. Just put him in a desperate situation, and apparently... Very quick to drop it off and dump it down. A low snap, and they'll just eat the football at the six-yard line. McNichols falls on it. Boise State was... Con See? And they'll go conservatively with a handoff. Demas can move, and he'll get it out to about the 14-yard line. But a stout start for BYU. Sione 8. Hine stays in the block. Quick throw caught, and it'll be BYU getting into Boise territory. It's Mitch Matthews who caught the Hail Mary. Picks up it on this team as the evening goes on. Algie Brown, the tailback, 24. Stays in the block. Going for it all right here. And it's intercepted inside the 10-yard line. Dante Dion, all Mountain West second teamer last year. Got That's another first down for Boise State. Another throw to Thomas Spurbeck for the touchdown and a desperate necessity. Finley stepping into the pocket, looking very calm, and a wide open receiver into Cougars territory for the first time for completions 51 yards. 25 as Williams Rhodes in the first down. And that you won't believe if you did not see the game last week. This time Finley with the keeper. Nicely done because quite a bit of the BYU tacklers went after McNichols. He is right at the mark. Row in motion. Pitch to McNichols. BYU surround. Oh, look at McNichols make that plant cut and go inside the five before. So Finley, this time under center. Williams Rhodes in motion. A lot of motion for Boise McNichols. He knows where he wants to go, and he gets there. The ball is ripped out after the touchdown, and Boise is on the board on the 52-yard drive. And that's just the tweak. I was impressed the way they came out and ran the football. That was also a problem last year. Got a little room to run on the right. Instead, he goes to the arm, and it's intercepted. Boise State to the 45-yard line. The interception again by Dion. Dion's got a path down to the 20. Cuts back and falls forward at the 17-yard line. A late flag coming in. In this ballgame. Finley over the top. And that's the, the, the ruling on the field is complete. And it is. Looking at McNichols on the screen. Instead, they go the other way. And not out of bounds. The receiver there, Fred Warner in there. Had some action going around today. And it's only September. <laughs> Tough snap. And for the first time, Boise State takes the lead as the half runs out. The Broncos finally able to get something out of the great field position. Broncos one out of seven on third downs in the first half. Finley. 
That's a rope. And down the field will go Chaz Anderson into BYU territory and all the way down. They'll mark him out of bounds inside of a long game. It's 15 yards, but it's still a first. Interesting looking blocking pattern that time on the pitch to Demas. You saw one of the tight ends come over, Jake Hardy, for his defensive game plan. Jeremiah Le Utah Duyere, call him JLD. 3rd 16. Pressure again from Kafusi and Finley going down the sideline and missed the receiver by several yards. So it'll be fourth down and once again, Sean Whale. But hold on, there's a flag down. See, only Taki Taki providing the pressure that time. A personal foul, roughing the passer by number 16 of the defense. It's a 15 yard effort last week against Nebraska. Fake to McNichols. Finley set up for some time. On the run, he finds the receiver inside the 15 and tight roping down the sidelines, but he's out of bounds. It will not be a touchdown. That's a good job. They got him at the three-yard line and go to McNichols. He knows where the money is. His second rushing touchdown of the night. Oh, he looks fully recovered there. I love the way he runs. He is a north and south kind of guy. Straight ahead, not a bit of dent. After having one block last week, Rossa has been perfect on 19. And of course, in college, that's against your rushing yard. So it's minus 18 now. And Mangum in some trouble has a running lane, but he's going to throw it. wide open to the 40 yard line. 30. Blackman inside the 25. Once again, the Boise secondary had a lapse on a scramble by Mangum. And they're back at the 21 yard line, second down and 20. Matthews going in motion. And great run that time by Hine. Breaking tackles and breaking the play of the end zone. Touchdown, BYU. Hine. So a 70 yard heave as the defense let down. Then a mental error leading to an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty helping on that drive and be for getting up in the hole which he obviously learned when he carried the football. Finley, deep drop back this time under pressure. That's a terrific throw and a great catch. It looks like Shane Williams Rhodes out. Big Nichols now, number 13, the tail. Go get it. It's by Kafusi. McNichols, Kafusi ends up tackling him, but he had to chase him up. Finley hanging in, middle of the field. Dive, grab inside the 35. Goes Williams Rhodes before he is dragged down by Kai Nakua. First down, Boise, and you're three yards. Williams Rhodes had only two receptions last week for 16 yards. This time they bubble screen it. McNichols. Ooh, that's a sweet move. McNichols, touchdown, Boise! Twenty nine yards and he stopped put the brakes on to set up the block. So that is how you respond when BYU comes out and scores on you. Boise State will see if the young freshman Tanner Mangum can answer. Good serve. And there's a good example of his arm strength on that pass. He just whipped that out. Good point. Yep. Ruling on the field is going to stand here. Third down and two, and it's a first down across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Straight ahead run play for BYU and tonight. <laughs> Delayed handoff to Jurgens, breaking one tackle. Trying to get to that edge, and he can't do it. He pursued for Boise too good that time. Finley from his end zone. Gonna take a shot down the field into coverage. Intercepted by Nakua at the 35-30. Nakua inside the 20. Down the sideline. He'll be knocked out of bounds at about the 11 or 10 yard line. And Finley throws a critical interception and BYU's in great shape. And the impact Nakua has made coming back into the lineup this week has solidified this Cougar defense. Moxie got the P.I. called on him. Second down at 19. They go onto the ground here with Brown. Brown gets inside the 10, the 5, and down to the 1. And all this passing from Tanner Mack. Running out of that game, that one worked to perfection. They go right up is. the gut 
And are they in? I'm still waiting on a call. He was in. Yep, they got it. They got it. Touchdown, BYU. <laughs> and uh, Tanner Mangum almost lost his helmet as uh, guys were trying to rip his head off at the end of that thing. Don't be fooled. Nice hold. Low line drive by Sampson. Boise State respond. They've been terrible on third down, two for ten. Here is that blitz. Finley stepping up, and down he goes. He can't get anywhere with it. The blitz is successful. And that's the second sack of the night for Harvey Longy, who's an outstanding blitz. Third and three. Hide on the ground. He'll get a first down and plenty more. Hide and a touchdown saving tackle that time by Darian Thompson, one of the team captains at the call timeout. Third down and seven. Little pressure again. He's going to flip it down toward the end zone, and it is intercepted out of bounds. Incomplete. Fourth and seven now. You got to go, staff. Fourth down and seven right here. Pressure from behind. Mangum flips it into the end zone. We've seen this before. Touchdown, BYU! Touchdown though to win this thing. Now they and will. Extra point. Yep, now they will. They rush three. Finley intercepted by Kai Nakua. His second pick of the night. And BYU is going to hang on. Nakua could house this thing. He does. Touchdown, BYU. to cement this thing. He did not play last week because of a suspension. Four players were suspended by Bronco Mendenhall for the Nebraska game. This is Nakua, you mentioned three interceptions. That ties a school record. That'll do it, most likely. Be the last play of the game and an unbelievable emotional night for BYU. They continue to surf that wave of emotion to a 2-0 start. And perhaps a ranking in the AP Top 25 next week. Party time in Provo. Our final score for the final time. BYU 35, Boise State 24. For our great crew, for my partner Ray Bentley, for Allison Williams, we thank you for watching. Coming up next, college football final. Good night from Provo.